So there's a debate going on all the time. I shouldn't say it's a debate. It's more of like a rivalry, an argument. And that's between Texans and their... Southern Californians. <laughs> and Texans <laughs> and their Whataburger. And then you have uh, Southern Californians with their In-N-Out Burger. Now we're stuck right here in the middle in Tucson, Arizona. And we happen to have both Whataburger and In-N-Out. Although... Whataburger's been here longer than in and out yeah. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of either one of them. We have some local burger places here that are I, outstanding. I like them. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, see, I love um, our local like, Zen Burger. Yeah. Even though uh, Diablo it's just different. is not yeah. around anymore. I love Thunder Bacon. Yeah. And then in California, though, I mean, people love in and out but I love all the independent mom and pop shops that make those huge burgers. Oh, yeah, for sure. And crispy fries. I always thought those were better than in and out Well, this maybe today's going to prove you wrong. So we're going to go taste both. So, maybe that you're going to become the fan that you didn't really know that you were. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Because maybe everyone be I wrong. know... I know so many people who love Whataburger and they love in and out so we just haven't had one for a while, we're going to do it today. And we are on our way. Okay, so we're just going to go cheeseburger against cheeseburger and fries. fries and of course the drink, that doesn't matter, that's sort of relevant. Whataburger and a banana pudding shake. So we're at Whataburger first, a banana pudding shake. That's what they say, is that that's the limited time. Uh, no, thank you. We would like a Whataburger with cheese and um, make it a meal. So this is for all the Texans, the Whataburger. That's what they love. You know what I forgot to mention oh, was... Oh, Yeah. So we'll try. And didn't you say there was a USA Today article on which is better? Whataburger or yes. in and out It wasn't today, but they did have a question about which is better, in and out or, or Whataburger, and they said Whataburger. So. so we will be the judge of that. We will see. And we forgot for our East Coast people, because they love their White Castle. Yes, they do. You know who you are. All right. Thank, All right. Thank thanks. you very much. Is so this first stop? Now we are on our way to. Now we're In -N -Out. on our way to In and Out Burger. We're going to In and Out Burger Peepers. Now this is going to be the challenger against the Water Burger. A head-to-head -head grudge match in a cage. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Got it. So okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got in and out we got Whataburger. So we got paper cups versus foam cups. Ooh, wow. Whataburger has foam cups. Which is more environmentally I friendly. Know. I think the paper is more environmentally friendly. Yeah, I don't know because you're heard. chopping down trees. When I was a kid, that was a big deal, chopping down trees. So that's why they it's came up with all cup. this plastic and it's foam a good diet. stuff. All right, let's, let's go with the fries first. Let's try the fries. Let's go fries head on. You fries. get the Whataburger in a, in a little yeah, McDonald-y looking thing. Containers. And you get these in a nice little container like yeah. this. Yeah. So. Oh. Fries are dropping. We'll see. Try it out. Yeah, salty mm -hmm. on the the Whataburger fries. Mm-hmm. This one too. Now, it's got a nice texture. And try the in and out fries. You know, try the water burger. They're very much the same. They're very similar. I personally wouldn't even be much pulling out. Mm -hmm. Water burger fry, in and out fry. They look pretty much they the same. They look pretty much the same to me. And they're both it's the same nice, style of a cut, you know. Yeah, it's a nice amount of salt on it also. It's not overly salty. Mm -hmm. But it's not bland. They're good. Mm -hmm. They taste so, really the same to me. Let's um, pull out. I think they share fries. The Whataburger mm. burger. 
and we'll both take a bite. Mm-hmm. So it's um, that's a pretty good size. That's a yeah, good size see. burger. You know, the in and out is thicker, and the water burger is is larger as now, far as round. Now, one difference that we did on this burger is we did they asked us at In and Out how we if we, if we wanted, wanted onions grilled and we, onions. So, so we said grilled. Yeah, so that's that that will give them a little bit of a taste advantage. But mm-hmm. it looks like you have lettuce, tomato, pickle, the patty, and mustard. The patty looks pretty much the same. And we went with cheeseburgers. Put the patty up in there, good. So I see that. Yeah, see we went with cheeseburger at both places. The patty looks about the same width, high, um, thickness. And uh, this, oh, this also has onions on it. And I'm gonna try this one. Which, well, let's, is there let's bite so- first. Is there special sauce no, on that? No, there's no special sauce. Okay. Let's bite this one In-N-Out first. In-N-Out has special sauce. Yeah, let's try this one first. Though. Okay. Let's okay. take the water burger okay. bite okay. first. Okay. So, go ahead. You wanna bite it first, ladies first? All right. We gotta get it with the tomatoes on there and all that. And we got cheese. And. That tastes good. That's a tasty fresh burger. Yep. Okay. Now we'll try the in and out. So this one, the difference that I can see on it is it's got special sauce on it. So, you know, special sauce is good. So let's see what and happens the bun. here. You know what? The bun looks a little bit more buttery. It's a little fluffier on the bun. Yeah. It looks, a little, bit, looks a little bit buttery. Where the the bun, I mean it's a fresh bun though from Whataburger, but it does a, mm-hmm. a, appear to be dry. Mm-hmm. And I shouldn't say flavor wise. I mean it's good. It has good flavor. It's not dry as in like like stale. It's 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 flavorful. It's good. Okay. All right. Now we'll go with the Whataburger. No, in and oh. out. The In and Out Burger. I have that too. I think they're both really good. If if I was going to give it to either one, however, the I'm, I really think it's because of the grilled onions. I think we gave it an unfair advantage with the grilled onions because that's that's what I'm tasting. But the that pushes it above the other. The burger on this water burger is very juicy and tasty too. Now, neither one of them has the effect on me like our friends. Like we have friends that just think in and out is it and they will wait in the line. And then we have friends that are from mm-hmm. the south from mm-hmm. Texas mm-hmm. who absolutely love water burger and they would wait in any line for water burger. I would not wait in line or long line for either one. The water burger, they put mustard on it too. Mm-hmm. No, I did and say I that. And I like mustard. Mm. But flavor wise, I'll have to say the in and out But again, I think it's because we went with the grilled onions on it with it. Let's just say they come real close. Let's go with price wise. So Coke, or let's just say soft drink fries. And a, a burger, cheeseburger at Whataburger was twelve dollars and forty two cents. Mm-hmm. And and that was seven ninety nine. Oh, remember we had a brownie on there. Oh, okay. So what what was the how much was the brownie? Two forty nine. Two forty nine plus okay. a little. So it's like ten bucks. It'd be ten bucks for the, the water burger because we did get the brownie. And at In and Out, it was seven ninety nine. The Water Burger is larger yeah. than the In and Out Burger. It's more expensive the entire meal, but it it is larger. So, which was your favorite? I don't know. They're so close. Of course, it's a little different with the the grilled onions on the In and Out. I like the secret sauce that they put on the In and Out mm-hmm. a lot. Um, what a burger puts a little mustard, which I liked a lot too. They both have lettuce. They both have tomato. They, and they both have the cheese. 
I have to say this Whataburger, the burger patty on this is very juicy. It's very good. Mm -hmm. But another little difference is the In-N-Out tastes a little bit more charbroiled, kind of. A little bit more than this one. Um, which is good if you like the charbroiled mm. flavor, but I I'm like them both. <laughs> Here. I would say overall you can't go wrong with either one. Mm -hmm. Overall, they're both really good. If you want a burger when you're on the road, drive through. They're both good. I would say, for me, the In-N-Out burger slightly edged over the Whataburger. So if you're going to give it a final, what would you say? I'd say the Whataburger because I thought the patty was really flavorful and juicy. So I picked the Whataburger. There you go. It just depends. We're split. All right. But I'll eat either one of them any day. <laughs> that settles that. Cheers. Cheers, all.